today's video, I asked you guys on Instagram to send me in some assumptions that you have of me and you did not hold back, let me just say that. It felt like through lockdown, every day people were doing Q and A's or polls or assumptions on their story and I feel like that's kind of slowly transferred over to like TikTok and YouTube. I've seen quite a lot of answering your assumptions videos floating around on YouTube which I know has always been a thing but especially since the whole massive rise in assumptions and stuff like that being answered and asked on Instagram on like stories and stuff like that. So one thing that has come of that is answering assumptions with true or false and then elaborating a little bit more on them. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I will be answering some of your assumptions. I'm really excited about doing this video because I haven't done like a Q&A or an answering your assumptions in a while now. I checked a little while ago and it had been ages since I'd done one. Um, I did like a high school Q&A but no assumptions in ages so I'm really looking forward to doing this video. I'm not gonna lie I literally just filmed this so this is the second time I'm filming it. I filmed this whole video, was so happy with it, then went to check the footage and like felt so happy. I was like I've done a TikTok today, I filmed a YouTube video today, god I'm like on it. It's currently five minutes to midnight I finished filming at like half 10 and I was like oh my god I can tidy up my room covered in like my makeup and clothes and go to bed early and then I checked my footage to just check everything was okay and it wasn't okay my mic wasn't fully plugged in and so the sound was just awful. I literally just had a breakdown and st burst out crying and got really annoyed with myself, which is why half of my match has already been drunk because I drank it in the other half of the video. So yeah, we move. So yeah, I'm going to be answering your assumptions. I've not looked at them Previously, I'm looking at them right now for the first time and I never know what to expect from you. Sometimes you ask really cute assumptions and other times you do not hold back. Um, so I'm a bit nervous. Okay, you have a secret boyfriend. That is false. I do not have a secret boyfriend. A lot of people were also asking me that I've had a boyfriend or have a boyfriend. I'm currently single. I'm a single Pringle. Have I had a boyfriend and you not known about it? Yes, but it hasn't been intentional like I'm intentionally keeping it a secret from you guys it just never felt like the right time to introduce him um, and we weren't together that long so it also just didn't make sense to like shove a camera in his face when he didn't really like being on camera so yeah I have had a boyfriend before but I hope in the future I can have someone that I'm able to share making videos with and do them with and I feel like it would be so fun one day you can dance true or false <laughs> right now can't like recent recently no i can't dance false you know what i can i can bust a move i can move side to side but no i cannot dance if this was like back in the day i would say yes little nikki like was on her way to being in step up i was in i did street dance ballet tap dancing character dancing so i was equipped in all areas to be on step up these days i cannot dance at all like i struggle so much with tiktok dances next question you're a mermaid <laughs> No, I used to want, watch H2O religiously um, and Aquamarine was my spirit animal. Spirit animal? Spirit spirit mammal? I don't know, but Aquamarine was literally my spirit animal when I was younger. You smoke. That is completely false. I don't smoke. I've never smoked and will never smoke. I personally really am not a fan of smoking. Never have been. No one really in my immediate family smokes. And yeah, we all basically have the same outlook on it never been a fan. You are more of an introvert than an extrovert. Definitely true. Um, I think I've spoken about this before but people think I'm so much more extroverted and confident than I actually am and I understand why I would you know think the same but no I'm such an introvert. If you ask any of my friends or any of my close family they would say the exact same thing. I think actually even sometimes they don't realise how much social anxiety or how introverted I have than I am but yeah I'm definitely an introvert. I used to be an extrovert and it's pretty 
sad looking back seeing how extroverted I was and how socially like unaware of stuff I was in the sense of like I just didn't worry about anything or what I people thought of me what or what I thought people would think of me I kind of just was myself and was unapologetically myself which I still am to an extent but these days I just can't help but conjure up things in my head that I feel like are gonna happen and so I you know give myself social anxiety and I overthink situations and then I scare myself out of doing certain things or just scare myself into things and give myself unnecessary anxiety which creates me to be more of an introvert and yeah <laughs> my idea of fun is literally being alone in my room watching Netflix and that sounds so sad but it is literally my dream like not having to do anything just sitting in my room watching Netflix by myself my worst nightmare is going to a party where I with new people but it is holding me back and I don't want being an introvert to hold me back from doing things or hanging out with friends like I find myself missing out on doing certain things with friends or family because I'm an introvert and because I, I just still scare myself out of situations and I don't want to be like that and I don't want my mind to have that control over me and um, where it makes me say no over things so long story short ramble session over yes i am your book is on amazon it is on amazon true thank you for saying that fion if you haven't already make sure to get nikki lily's come on life available on amazon or oh, all good bookstores wh smith waterstones little independent bookstores it's um all over the place so make sure to get one if you haven't already um but in all seriousness your feedback on the book feedback oh my god feedback on the book has been amazing thank you so much for your support one of the other questions is that you are writing a book currently um which is not true it's uh, false i'm not currently writing a book but there are definitely talks about another book i would absolutely love to do a cookery book or like a baking book that is kind of for people of all different levels when it comes to baking and for like kids to do with family and kids to do with friends and just kind of share my little stories about being on bake-off and growing up just in a household where baking was like quite a big thing and just bettering my baking skills and everything like that I mean you've already got like an idea of what I'd want to do for a book um and my manager and I have spoken about it and it is definitely something that we are hoping to work towards and if the opportunity comes up I will definitely take it but no at the moment I'm not working on a book or writing a book I'm working on a lot of other exciting stuff and I genuinely can't wait to share it with you it will either be at the end of this year or next year they haven't really been finalized because it is still quite early stages but well one of the things will be this year for sure but the other thing is so big and such a big deal it's literally a dream come true I can't even believe it still um I'm buzzing to share it with you so I'm working on a lot of exciting stuff you want to go to university that is false I do not want to go to university um I never really have like even I was gonna say even before my condition but I I was diagnosed with my condition at six and I don't even think I knew what the word university was but for as far as I can remember I've not wanted to go to university and it's like even before like I started making videos I just I've never been very academic and not that you have to be academic to university to go to university at all but I've never had that feeling inside of me of like wanting to go to university. Um, I, you know, my brother's been to university and just graduated and so my sister's currently at university. Um, well, she's currently taking a, back, a gap year because of, um, you know, everything going on. But she's still currently at university doing fashion and they've both done very different things. Alex did economics, which is literally like, I can't think of anything worse. I love you, Alex, but what are you thinking? For me, I've just never, ever, ever had that like want um, to go to university in any way. I think university can be great in a lot of ways, not just, you know, getting more expertise and specialising in an area where you're in interested in. It can be great for social skills and being forced into making new friends. It can be great for growing independence. It can be great for so many things. Um, but for me, it's just not been something that I've wanted to do. And quite a few of my friends, you know, we're all on the same page about that. And there's just nothing that I'd want to go to university to learn more about. There are some interesting courses, but 
I would never want to go to university and spend all of that money when I'd be going into it like half-heartedly, which I would be if I did. And it's crazy expensive and I want to continue doing what I'm doing now and hopefully as soon as I finish school I can do this full time, you know, TV stuff more, focus on YouTube more, get my channel back up and running um, and just do more and create more and just keep going with what I'm doing. You hate school. Um, <laughs> I think hate is a strong word, perhaps dislike is a better word. I'm very grateful that I'm able to have an education and I'm, I live in a country where, you know, I'm able to have an education and I'm able to um, go to school every day and have that because it is a privilege getting an education. But as school as a whole, I'm not a big fan of. I completely understand that school's important, but it has always felt like it's held me back from doing what I love. With everything that I've done, it's always been planning stuff around school or not being able to do stuff because of school or having to pick school over things that I'd rather do more. But yeah, I think obviously I completely understand that school is compulsory and you have to do it and it's just a part of life. For example, like your grandma's done it, your dad's done it, everyone's had to go to school. For me, I just have never really been academically smart. Um, you know, I've, I've not done bad in my subjects, um, but I've never been academically smart and school has always been like just full of stress for me and full of just not ever feeling good enough and letting grades and numbers define me. Obviously my circumstances sometimes aren't the same to other people's because I'm not able to go to school as much. I, I mean I get to school most days but even still I do miss chunks and sometimes I'm, I'll be in pain and like not be able to really like focus on a certain lesson where we learn a certain topic. So yeah I've just not never really been a fan of school and I don't really like how I understand why, but I don't really like how there's just in school a complete emphasis on how smart someone is academically and nothing else is factored in. Like how, I know there's art and things like that, but even still, it's, you know, it's still about how academically smart you are. Do I like school? No. I appreciate being able to see my friends every day, having a routine, having something that's continuity in my life when it is very inconsistent with my condition. But school as a whole, it's, I've just never been a fan. Primary school, secondary school, it's just never been for me. Next one, you loved going on Junior Bake Off. Ah, oh, true, 1000%. I absolutely love going on Junior Bake Off. I like, when I think about it, it still makes me like, what a cry. Going on Junior Bake Off was such a dream come true in every single way, um, in every single way possible. And, you know, even before I was diagnosed with my condition, I wanted to be on Junior Bake Off and would watch it and loved baking. Um, but I still never thought I was good enough and it was always a dream of mine. And when I was diagnosed with my condition, my dream of being on Junior Bake Off became, felt even further away because I felt like I wasn't good enough. I felt like because you know, of my condition and everything, I just wouldn't be able to reach that dream. And I kind of just accepted that it was a dream that wouldn't happen. But my auntie um, actually was someone that always kind of tried to encourage me to apply and encouraged me with baking and telling me that I was good enough and things like that. And um, one day she was eating some cupcakes that I'd made and she said, Nikki, you know, you should really apply. You're not really losing out on anything if you do. If you apply and you get through the first stage, then that is amazing. Um, but if not, you don't lose anything for trying. And if anything, it's better that you aren't left down the line thinking, what if? Because that was the last year that I could have been on Junior Bake Off because you have to have like just turned 12. And I had just turned 12 that year. That I was going on it or had just turned 12 when we started filming so she basically thought yeah this is like your last year to apply why don't you just do it I got through the first round and then I got through the second round and the third round honestly getting on to bake off is long you have one round and then you have another round so you have one round and then you have a phone call round and then you have like an in-person round and so whenever someone's on bake off I always think about how long the the interview process is and like how amazing it is that they're on it. I remember being so worried about being on Bake Off too because there was someone with a visible difference and I didn't know if there'd be anyone else that um, had a visible difference or had a condition or anything and I was so worried about um, what people thought of me and everything but the kids were all lovely in all of my rounds um, especially Macy and Tyrese we like who were in the final with me 
but also Tyrese was with me from the quarterfinals. We actually got on so well and they just completely accepted me, which I so appreciated and made the Junior Bake Off experience so much nicer for me because I didn't have to worry about that and that wasn't, you know, that fear wasn't sitting on my shoulders that I'd like created in my head. Do you know what? My dream was just to be on Junior Bake Off, but then my dream became, because I was on it, then my dream became to win and to win became even bigger of a dream and even bigger of a th thing that I wanted and um, the more rounds I got through and that dream was even closer the more rounds I got through. I did not think I was going to win at all which I think you can see in my family's face when my name is announced I did not think I was going to win. Tyrese and Macy had done amazing and I just wasn't expecting it but winning Junior Bake Off will no matter what I do in life where my life takes me what I accomplish will always be one of the one of the proudest and biggest moments in, in my life that I will literally cherish forever it doesn't matter where you come from um who you are what you've been through you can achieve anything that you put your mind to and no dream is too far out of your reach and I th hope that I showed that through me winning junior bake off and you just need to believe in yourself and be determined and Remember that you are enough and to push yourself and you can do it. Okay, just a quick one. You hate maths. True, I hate maths in every way that there is possible to hate maths. Me and maths have never got on and I totally get that. Maybe we're different, you know, opposing astrology signs, zodiac signs is totally fine. But yeah, I've never understood why I have to learn about Pythagoras' theorem or about algebra or anything like that in life. I don't know where it will be useful, but it's fine. You know, me and math didn't quite get on um, and we said goodbye last year and ever since it's been, you know, great and I wished maths well. But in all seriousness, yes, I hate maths so much. I never use hate, you know, hate's a very strong word and I only apply it to certain things, but maths, oh, I definitely apply it to. You're a virgin. Um, yes, I am a virgin. Everyone um, loses their virginity at completely different ages and whatever age is right for them and I think that whenever feels right for you and in your own time. Someone literally asked, you hate strawberry thick shakes? Yeah, I do hate strawberry thick shakes. I hate strawberry flavoured anything. Strawberry ice cream, just strawberry in general is just the worst flavour. I don't even care. It might be an unpopular opinion. Me and my friend were arguing about it. She was trying to say that strawberry is better than chocolate and vanilla. And me and my friends literally looked at her like, are you okay? I actually had to ask if she was okay because strawberry, really? Mm -mm. You and Alex are really close. Oh, I like that one. That's really cute. I'd say true. I think for a brother and sister, we have a pretty good bond and are quite close. Um, me and Alex just have always really got each other and been quite similar. You know, whether you believe in, I don't know if you believe in zodiac signs or not, I believe in like spirituality and stuff. And me and Alex are both cancers. So I, I feel like we have similar traits and so understand each other on a different level. You know, we're always like the people I'd say that we go to when we're having a bad day or need someone to talk to, whether it's about mental health or just like, rant at about something that's annoyed us. I will often go to Alex or Alex will be my person that I'll go to and vice versa with him and me. Um, and I just think that we get each other. You miss making YouTube videos. 1000% true. I massively miss posting regularly and interacting with you guys on YouTube regularly and just all of that. I miss the whole process of it and the happiness that it gave me. I honestly don't know how I did it last year. Um, I would, was it last year or like 2019 more? I would have school all week and still post regularly most of the time. Um, on a Saturday of that week, I would have two tutors in the morning for my GCSEs. I'd have maths and English because I was struggling and I needed them. And so I had them in the morning really early. So I'd have um, an early start every five days a week and then basically no rest on a Saturday. I honestly don't know how I didn't get burnt out. I'm sure I was and it was not a very happy time for me, but I still, I have no idea how I kept going. I really do commend myself. Um, so yeah, I'd have them and then straight after that I would film a video. And this is where I kind of began to resent school is because it kept me from being able to create the content that I wanted because five days a week I had school and then I only had like a Saturday 
to, and I couldn't film after school because I was so tired or had schoolwork. I just kept thinking that I'd be able to put my heart into what I'm filming and be able to create videos that I want to film much more than the ones that I was doing, but I don't have the time to, and I don't have um, the ability to edit them. Because at the time I was editing all my videos and now I'm really lucky to have um, a lovely friend who edits them for me um, most of the time. Back then I was filming all of them and I felt like I was doing them half-heartedly and not completely how I wanted them or the ideas that I completely wanted to film I was filming um but I had to because otherwise I wouldn't post a video um and I think probably that's kind of where I've changed a bit now is that I'm the opposite I feel much more quality over quantity and so I'm very much like a half I'm, I'm not a half glass full person I will either put my all into something or not do it at all and I felt felt like I wasn't able to put my all into YouTube um because of school um, and that was something that I was really resentful of and still am sometimes. I speak about this in every video and I'm so sorry if you're sick of it, but um, it is important to speak about. With YouTube, I feel like it was a combination of reasons that I stopped posting as regularly. My health not being as good, me not feeling myself some days um, mentally and so not having the ability to get up and get put makeup on and pick up a camera and film. And I know it's important to show your bad days and everything, but even just the thought of filming was just too exhausting. Sometimes I had other commitments that would take over from YouTube and then other times I didn't have the time to edit and back then I wasn't friends with Alicia so you know Alicia is my friend who helps me edit Um, I was she wasn't there to help me it's just been a lot of things and some weeks I just haven't posted Um, but I haven't realized the effects that that would have on my channel and so all of these things together along with the horrible YouTube algorithm which I talk about all the time and I'm sure you've had other YouTubers talk about which I don't un even understand honestly it's so annoying but um all of those things i think have really affected my channel and affected the way that i see it and i never ever 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 see myself quitting youtube in the near future or the far future or anytime soon that was also one of the questions um you're quitting youtube which is not true and i'm sorry that i haven't posted as regularly i genuinely am sorry because not that I'm your favourite YouTuber or anything, but if my favourite YouTuber wasn't posting as regularly and they were the person that I went to for positivity and for escapism and, um, you know, my happy place and they weren't posting as regularly and I couldn't look forward to something every week from them, you know, it would just be really upsetting to me and I'm really sorry if that's how you've, um, if that's how any of you have felt. For me, I've had quite a rough year mental health wise and it's something that I'm started getting help for now sometimes when my views weren't doing very good that became exhausting because then i was like is it worth it and then even though i know some of that i caused myself from not posting and then other times i just it felt easier to film a tiktok than a youtube video because i didn't have to speak i just had to smile and do makeup i think it's just hard for me sometimes being known as the girl that seems lovely you know and i don't i want my channel to be more than that i don't want all of my subscribers to just subscribe to me for that and nothing else and i really appreciate the people who have subscribed to me from lovely and continue to watch my videos you know they're not all going to be singing videos but for the people that have just subscribed to me and don't watch my videos it just then makes it really demotivating for me for the people that still do watch my videos I really appreciate you and I do recognise you and I, I'm sorry that I talk about sometimes my views being lower and every feeling demotivated because I know you support me. But yeah, I really miss it and I am working towards posting more. I've got a cool schedule in with YouTube later this month and I'm excited to create content that is the most me it's ever been and that I'm proud of and I hope you are proud of and excited for too. So that's it for this video everyone, thank you so much for watching, please give it the extra bit of love of liking it and subscribing if you haven't already and comment down below any videos from me you would like to see, like I mentioned it would be really really helpful um, and as I am currently bulk filming a bunch of videos so I can post more frequently for you guys um, and more regularly it would really help me out to know what videos you would like to see. Make sure to click that subscribe button, I would love if you joined the family and stuck around for more videos from me. It has been so nice to do like a Q&A chatty video with you guys, just a bit more cash, answer some fun questions but yeah i love you guys lots and i will see you very soon bye everyone lots of love Mwah.